international cricketing legend, Michael Vaughan. Thank you so much for joining us, Michael. Uh, now, you're in Yorkshire, obviously, in a complete lockdown. Do you have any nice toys at home? Do you have the bar, fridge, the pool? What have you got to keep you occupied through these really troubling times? <laughs> Good evening. Uh, I don't have a pool, no. We're in Yorkshire. We don't do pools in Yorkshire. Um, I, I, have a, I have a fridge stocked with uh, plenty of the nice... Uh, fresh liquid that's uh, going to be uh, probably going down rather quickly over the next week or so. Uh, got a bit of a kitchen outside, which again, it's freezing cold, so that doesn't get used that often either. So uh, I'm not quite into uh, the, the shame worn bar, that uh, Club 23. I've been in there many, many times. And I have to say it's the perfect lockdown joint. Oh, it is. Now, now on the calendar, the IPL, Michael, obviously that is, that's been canned. I, I guess the next big thing on the next big, big ticket item is the 2020 World Cup. Uh, hopefully everything's the world's back to being normal by October where it's, where it's out here. Yeah, I mean, obviously you mentioned the IPL as our, our season over here in England, which starts on June the 4th. That's the international season against the West Indies. You have to say that that's uh, looking very unlikely. Uh, the Aussies come over for a few one days in July. Again, that looks unlikely. Uh, and then we have the 100 launch, the new tournament here in the UK in the end of July. So there's lots here that we you have to kind of think that's uh, going to be under a massive threat. Uh, and then that T20 World Cup in, in Australia in October you would hope that it's going to be okay by then, but you just don't know. These are unprecedented times. Um, you know, the advice that we're getting here is changing daily. Uh, it was only uh, two weeks ago that, you know, I think we all were, were thinking that this is just a, a real bad case of flu. And then obviously a few days later, it, uh, it, the reality set into to many of us that it was a lot, lot worse than that. We're all under lockdown. Uh, who knows what's going to happen over the course of the next few weeks. The most important thing when... We start talking about sport. It really is uh, secondary to what's happening to, to many people around the world. So we've just got to try and get this sorted. Everyone's got to stay safe. Um, everyone's got to listen to the advice. And then over the course of the next few weeks, then we can start talking about what cricket's going to take place this year. Michael, you, you, you touch on you know what it's like over there at the moment. Um, huge news overnight for us here in Australia, seeing that Prince Charles has tested positive to the coronavirus. How has that been received over there by the English? Yeah, I mean, it, it's fine. I mean, it, it, it sounds like he's only got a mild case of the virus. Um, he'll be getting the, the, the best medical advice you can imagine. Um, you know, I, I'm sure he'll, he'll be fine. Um, you know, I, I think it's more the, the kind of spreading of the virus over the last few days that started to hit the reality of everyone. And, you know, from being under lockdown now for four days to the first day seeing many not really taking the expert advice, particularly down in London, they were still using tubes, um, you know, still going to parks. They were playing cricket in the park as big groups. They were sunbathing in the park. I think people thought it was like an extended holiday. And then within 24 hours, the message came again, no, this, this isn't a holiday. This is lockdown time. And, you know, we're being reminded over here, and rightfully so, that many in the world wars, you know, we're under a, a, a huge amount of threat. And, and if you can fight in a world war, you know, it's not that difficult to stay indoors and watch a bit of television for a couple of weeks. And that's pretty much what we're all being asked to do. Uh, we, we're allowed a, an active walk every day or a cycle with the family. Uh, and then it's just uh, schoolwork. I'm a, I'm a teacher for the day. I'm useless. Absolutely <laughs> terrible at teaching. My kids get put in detention. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah. My kids are in detention pretty much within 10 minutes of my first lesson. Uh, I've actually found out what a Hoover is over the last few days. I've been doing the Hoover. <laughs> so have I. Yeah. Put him back in the cupboard. Put him back in the cupboard. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a spade. I've real, realised what gardening is. I never thought I'd be a gardener. So, um, you know, these things, you've got to look at the, the positive side. Like we're all getting to spend a bit more time with the family. Again, as uh, particularly cricketers, we're always away from home and, you know, this is a, a, almost like a, a positive moment that you can spin off something so negative that for the next few weeks, I'll be here with the kids, the family. Um, we'll have a few arguments, no question. Everyone will do, I'm sure, in their households. But time to spend a few weeks with the family and just hoping that everyone stays safe. Well, along with all your new domestic uh, duties, and it sounds like bliss over there, you're, you're pretty handy on the Twitter. You've got 1.2 million followers. How's the banter been? Yeah, still get plenty of abuse. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, that's normal. Uh, no, I, I think uh, social media and the way that we can interact now through through FaceTime, I think we, it's a bless really that, you know, we have all these tools to be able to socialise. My mum and dad are 30 miles away, but I can't see them. So having FaceTime and, and just being able to see them and speak to them is is wonderful. There's a great side of social media. There's also a bad side, and I think, you know, through times like this that everyone's got to stay united, you still get the odd idiot that uh, tries to, you know, do something silly or say something uh, not as kind as possibly you would like, but that's the nature of it. If you're on it, you've got to accept it. I, I don't mind it. I like the banter. Uh, I try and interact with people, um, you know, try and have a little bit of fun. Instagram stories, just trying to give people a, a little bit of a smile every now and again because... You know, it, it, it's so hard when you, you you are locked in and there's so many people worse off than we are that will be struggling like mad. So you've just got to try and open them up and try and give them a little bit of humour. Yeah, just a beautiful reminder just to be kind to one another through these times. Michael Vaughan, really appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us on Fox League Live. Yeah.